Hello dear students, welcome to Sir Chua's Accounting Lessons PH. This is Lesson 34, our subject orientation for the subject, Fundamentals of Accountancy, Business and Management Part 2. So at the end of the video, you should be able to have a basic understanding of the purpose of the subject and enumerate the lessons and topics covered by the subject FABM2. Again, this is Sir Chua's Accounting Lessons PH and thank you for your continuous support in my channel. Hello po sa ating lahat and welcome dahil nasa part 2 na po tayo ng Fundamentals of ABM. So, I'm very happy na nandito na tayo sa pangalawang uh, part ng accounting lessons natin. Okay, so congratulations sa lahat ng grade 11 na ngayon ay nasa grade 12 na. So one school year na lang malapit na kayo mag-college and uh, you will soon enter the workforce, you will soon uh, enter college. So I'm very very excited for all of you. Okay, so before anything else, please watch po muna and review all lessons in Fundamentals of ABM Part 1 using the videos in this channel from Lesson 001 to 033. So kung gusto nyo po ng refreshment, if you want refreshment in all of your FABM 1 lessons, all of those videos are available in this channel. So if, if, if it's your first time in uh, this channel and uh, you are a student na nagahanap ng review ng FABM 1, eh, hindi ka naman nagkamali ng pinuntahang channel. So you can review the lessons for fundamentals of ABM 1 in this channel. Punta ka lang po sa previous videos in this channel. Okay, and then um, this is for actually grade 12 for semester for schools under the Department of Education. However, I think there are some schools na hindi, na, hindi ko alam eh kung ano yung curriculum timing nila for this subject. But most of the schools offer this subject in grade 12 for semester. Anyway, so the prerequisite subject for part 2 is syempre yung fundamentals of ABM part 1 natin. Okay, so before we start, can you please represent your school and comment down the name of your school below. Gusto ko malaman kung ano yung mga schools at saka yung location na rin siguro ng schools nyo kung sino yung nanonood ng uh, mga video na ito. Okay, actually this uh, lesson tutorials are being created on the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic. So lahat tayo ngayon halos. Uh, naka online learning, naka blended learning. So I hope that you will find my videos very, very helpful as we face this uh, pandemic. Okay, uh, sana nakakatulong po ito. And uh, uh, may mga teachers din po na nagme-message sa akin na nagko-comment na nakakatulong daw po itong videos ko for their classes. So I hope that I can continue uh, helping you with the release of this uh, of these videos, of these video lessons, lalo na ngayon na naka-online learning tayong lahat. So uh, whether you are a teacher or a student, please represent your school. Paki-comment down naman po la, uh, yung mga school and yung location ng schools natin kasi minsan nagugulat ako may mga tiga uh, mga tiga provinces so akala ko yung reach ng aking videos NCR but uh, nagugulat ako yung iba is coming from provinces and uh, other cities so maraming salamat po sa inyong support for this channel okay so the lesson distribution for fundamentals of ABM part 2 is uh, constructive accounting and industry-based learning. Okay, so uh, in constructive accounting, uh, you will learn here how to properly prepare a balance sheet, income statement, capital statement, and cash flow statement. So that's actually the four basic financial statements na natutunan nyo in fundamentals of ABM 1. However, we will be deepening, no? I lalawakin pa natin, we will be expanding your learnings in how to prepare these financial statements, okay? And then we will also be having some industry-based learning, which is uh, financial statements analysis. So, hindi lang tayo magpe-prepare ng financial statements. We will also be analyzing these financial statements. And then we will also be talking about bank, tra bank transactions and bank reconciliation statement 
and we will also be now dealing with basic taxation principles okay actually uh, senior high school is designed uh, either for you to enter college or to enter the workforce so I think that if you opt to enter the workforce then these concepts will also be very very helpful for you uh, for a junior position in some companies should they accept senior high school graduates okay so let me give you a glance of the topics that will be discussed in FABM2. This is aligned with the curriculum guide for this subject with the depart uh, from the Department of Education. However, uh, we will not be dealing in this uh, video lessons kasi meron pong chapter that talks about or you will be doing an accounting practice set. So just please check with your school if you will be doing an accounting practice set or not, but that's the recommendation of the Department of Education. Anyway, for my channel, we will be discussing the statement of financial position, the statement of comprehensive income, the statement of changes in equity, the statement of cash flows, financial statements analysis, bank documents and transactions, bank reconciliation statement and basic income and in business taxation let's talk about them one by one okay so the the statement of financial position or the balance sheet we will be talking about the elements of the balance sheet which is assets liabilities and capital so uh, those terminologies are actually discussed with you already in fundamentals of abm1 so we will be going back to them again and then we will be deepening our knowledge about current and non-current assets and then current and non-current liabilities so we will be properly preparing an industry standard balance sheet okay and then we will uh, you will also learn how to prepare balance sheet in account form and a balance sheet in report form our next lesson after the balance sheet is the income statement the statement of comprehensive income so we will be going back again to how to prepare a single step income statement for service companies which is revenue minus expenses and then the multi-step merchandising company income statement which is net sales minus cost of goods sold which is equal to gross profit less operating expenses equals to net income okay and then we will also review how to prepare income statement in functional presentation and the natural presentation the function of expense method and the nature of expense method after we complete uh, our lesson in income statement we will be talking about uh, the statement of changes in equity or the capital statement we will re we will be recalling the different forms of business organization and we will be preparing capital statement for sole proprietorship I might also give you an introduction on the capital statement of a partnership and a corporation okay and then we will also be talking about the statement of cash flows um, we will be talking about the direct method statement of cash flows only on a senior high school level so this video lessons will not be covering a a higher level intermediate accounting statement of cash flows lesson uh, and then the indirect method of preparing statement of cash flows after you learn the preparation of financial statements we will be ready to analyze them so we have different techniques in analyzing financial statements and uh, in this uh, in FABM2 we are we will be talking about the horizontal analysis the vertical analysis and ratio analysis and interpretation of the ratios so financial and uh, financial statements analysis is a technique for managers to understand how the company performs or are they liquid are they solvent are they profitable or not okay so you we will be learning those things in this lesson you will be also introduced to bank documents and transactions just a premise uh, companies keeps their cash in the bank so it's important for you guys to understand bank transactions okay so we will be talking about different types of bank accounts bank transactions deposits and withdrawal slips how to prepare checks what are the parts of a check and then how do you interpret or how do you read information in the bank statement okay and then since the company is keeping their cash in the bank and they also maintain their own personal records we will be talking about bank reconciliation statement we will reconcile the balance the bank balance as given by the bank and the bank balance 
that your ledger tells you and those should reconcile okay so we will be reconciling bank statement balance versus ledger balance and then the adjusted balance method of the bank reconciliation statement the bank to book method of the bank reconciliation statement and the book to bank method also of the bank reconciliation statement and then you will also be introduced with basic income and business taxation principles. So we will be talking about the general principles of taxation, how to properly compute taxes for monthly compensation, how to compute annualized calculation of individual income tax, and let's have a very little introduction about value-added taxes. Okay, so I hope that you will be with me again uh, for the whole semester and for the whole FABM2 videos. Our next lesson will formally start with the statement of financial position. For webinar and speakership invites, please send me a message at kevintroy.chua1994 at gmail.com. This is Kevin Troy, M. Chua, CPA, and this is Sir Chua, Zakaria, Chua, 1994 at gmail.com. This is Kevin Troy, M. CPA. This is Sir Chua's Accounting Lessons PH. To God be all the glory, honor, and praise. Thank you, and have a great day.